In this video, I'll be explaining project cost, differentiate between indirect cost and overhead, and highlight why this is important to you as a Nanolab project leader. Welcome to my corner. I'm Anna Johnson, Deputy Director of DTU Nanolab. I made this video to help you by demystifying the different types of project costs. Let me start out with showing you a research project. A successful research project needs salary for people conducting research. They in turn require materials and tools. Often, researchers travel to conferences and workshops to share their insight with their peers. Publication of papers require days of repositories, journal fees and open access library services. Projects also require support in the form of labs, offices, finance, human resources and building maintenance, just to name a few. All of these components combine to allow a project to reach its scientific and technical goals. Each component costs money. Some of these cost a lot of money. Sources of money for an externally funded research project are funding agencies and DTU. The funding agency will pay for direct costs, that is costs which arise due to the specific project working towards its goals. This often includes salaries, travel, specific materials, and presenting the results in journals or at conferences. Meticulous bookkeeping ensures these direct costs are documented. DTU will co-finance the direct costs for some projects, this can, for instance, be with an amount equal to the salaries of senior scientific staff. Such co-funding leads to an overall funding from the funding agency, which is less than 100% of the direct costs. The expenditure that is not a direct consequence of the project's activities are called indirect costs, and these are paid by DTU, either centrally from 101 or from Nanolab. All funding agencies have rules for what they consider direct costs and indirect costs. When you make your budget for a research application, Carefully consider all costs to make sure that the direct costs are covered. Most funding agencies acknowledge that TTU has indirect costs and are willing to at least partly pay them. This is done through a fixed overhead percentage based on the sum of the direct costs. The overhead percentage can vary from 5% up to 44%. A low overhead percentage means that TTU can afford fewer projects. For you as a project leader, a low overhead percentage reduces your possibility to get co-financing and you run a higher risk of having your budget rejected. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helped you better understand project costs. If you're interested in more explanation videos or have some feedback, please let me know. Take care and see you later.